All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about the best recovery boards that I have found, and I've searched high and low. I have a few different off-roaders, as you can see down there, an old-school Land Cruiser, a diesel Japanese, uh, this one, the Green Machine. All these are on my channel, um, and a couple other ones that are in the garage. But recovery boards is something I like to have on each of my rigs. And on some trucks, um, one truck I purchased recently came with these. And these are just, you know, POS. <laughs> this I bought. These are about 100 and... Or 99 bucks to 119 bucks. I don't remember how much I paid. I bought them because of the orange nibs, kind of went with the truck, which I'll show you in a second. And then I was looking for Max Tracks, but you know what? All back ordered as they are right now during this, this pandemic. So even though we're near the tail end of it, all, all back ordered. So couldn't get those for a few months. And then I stumbled on these guys. These guys, it didn't just come up when I was searching it because it's a smaller US based company. And let me tell you, I'm going to give you the lowdown on what their product is all about because it's pretty incredible. So, again, super cheap and you get what you pay for. These are probably one and done. If you actually use this on the trail versus just hanging it on your vehicle, um, it's probably going to break the first time you use it. Oh, and by the way, in this video, I'm going to show you five cool ways to mount them on your vehicle. So that's also important. I did a lot of homework and I tried to mix and match some different mounting um, ways. So pretty cool ways that you can put these on for quick, easy access. And yeah, who's kidding who for a cool look at the same time, right? So these ones, um, the US Action Tracks, and as you know, Max Tracks are like 349 for just their you know non-metal um, nibs. And for their metal ones, it's 500 bucks. These ones with the metal nibs, 349. Now there's less, the other guys have a lot more metal nibs, but you only really need them at the beginning and at the end, or whichever, whichever way you wanna look at it on the different ends. And quite honestly, anybody with any type of recovery board, whenever you burn out those nibs, those plastic or nylon nibs, you can actually just get, because let's take a close up. You can actually put a washer, a lock, uh, washer on the other side, a bolt and uh, a nut, and there you go. So you, and I, I'll show you, well, let's show you right now. I did it to this truck. So on this truck, the, the final set of recovery boards that I have are from Roto Packs. So they're called Roto Tracks. That's from the makers of these. So the Roto Packs. And um, they, could, they don't come with this. I added that. So I got 10 up top and I put 10 down below. And so far I just did it on that outer recovery board because there's two recovery boards here. As you can see on this mount, you know, they tuck in nicely to each other. But <laughs> doing just one board with 10 up top and 10 below, that costs 25 bucks because that's stainless steel, right? On this truck, or not on this truck, sorry, on the US Action Track boards, they use zinc, right? So stainless steel being the ultimate, like marine quality is not going to you know, in salt water, it's not going to rust. Zinc can, right? So if you mark these up, scratch them, yeah, you get the coating off, it can it can rust. But th this is actually, you know, great quality. And I get it. If they put stainless steel, that's going to put the price up because stainless steel is at least 50% more cost than, uh, than zinc. So you can put them on yourself. And what I did is simply took a sawzaw, uh, you know, you can take a, a Dremel, just take off the little nib, just the nib, so that you still have room to, you know, drill a slightly smaller diameter to what your bolt is going to be. All right, and probably in the description, I'll put the bolt sizes that I bought that, that are the same that's on this U.S. Action Track. So U.S. Action Track, when you think about price, if it's just all um, without the metal... It's 240, uh, 269 compared to what, 349 with Max Tracks. But the quality of their boards are different. Okay, so let's talk about that real quick. When you talk about quality, these two here plastic, PVC, polypropylene, and very stiff. Like, for instance, let's take this board. And you'll see what I mean. This does not, and I'm standing on it, I'm just shy of 200 pounds. And it, it doesn't even budge. So it's 
rock hard stiff. And what does that mean? That means if you've got it on rocks, it's gonna do damage. It's gonna slide because it's just hard plastic. It's gonna slide, it's not gonna stay in place. It's not gonna form factor to the rock, you know, in the sand. Um, it's not gonna bend. If you've seen some of these videos, these Aussie guys, they um, they bury, they bury halfway the, um, let's just pause for a second. So you can see I've got one of the tan ones up here and there's my other one that I've had up here for a while. I wanted the orange because my dash has little orange needles. So I thought that was cool, but I wanted to get better quality. So hence the US Action Trek. But back to the Aussies. So what they do is they bury these in the sand halfway for their, their um, demo videos and drive over them. And you see the board coming back up you know, either it'll crack, it'll break, it won't go back to its original form. The Max tracks perform great. But those guys obviously didn't have the US Action tracks, and I, unfortunately, don't have a Max tracks here. But I have plenty of friends that have them, I've seen them, and they are a little bit more pliable than just PVC because they're nylon. That's the material they're using. This is from DuPont, and the materials used is industry secret. But I'll tell you what, when you when you stand on this so i'm just going to put one foot well let's get a better angle here one foot th this totally bends totally bends it's very malleable um so this would easily bend at a 90 degree uh, 180 degree possibly uh and come right back to its form and when it's sitting on rocks it's going to, you can see on, in the back, like most, there's also nibs on the backs so it can uh, get traction. And what I also like is this feature, because when you're putting this up against a rock, those teeth are going to grab and stay. They're not going to slide like most of the recovery boards. Look, it's just, it's just flat. That's going to slide. That's going to grab. So that makes all the difference. So let's go to materials, right? Because you get what you pay for. When you talk about PVC and polypropylene, it's about a buck a pound, right? And all recovery boards are probably about seven pounds, eight pound range, the weight of the board. So how much does it cost per pound for nylon that the Max Tracks uh, make their recovery boards out of? About $2.50 to three bucks in that range. How much does it cost for the material for this, for the DuPont? Five bucks a pound. So if you think about it, they're spending more because you're getting a better quality um, material. Now, how do I know that? How do I know how much, if it's a secret, what this material is? Well, I actually called the dude that owns Action Track, and here's what I like about them. They're not this great big, huge company, but they've been around a couple of years. They've done their research. They were looking to make a better board. They're right out of the heartland of the, the U.S., uh, out of Kansas City, and the phone number on their website, guess what? You talk to KC, the owner. Now, I'm not doing a plug for him. I paid for these boards. I bought them. Um, so th this is just my, my experience and uh, what I have found. And I do my homework. As you can see, I got him on the phone. And I'm saying, hey, what's the difference between yours and Max Tracks? I also called him to see if the, um, as you can see, the mounts, let's go on the lighter one, the mounts here, I wanted to see the size difference, if this would work with some of the mounting products, because Max Trax has been around a long time, they got lots of aftermarket mounts, US Action Trax is the new kid on the block, so there's not a lot of mounts, but the great news is, through that phone call, I discovered I can use anything that works with Max Trax is going to work with these as well, so that is awesome. So yeah, through my conversations with him, I'm like, well, what's, what's DuPont making this out of? He's like, look, it's a, it's a patented type product, but he can tell me this. It's expensive. It's more expensive than nylon because he looked into making it out of nylon. And um, th that actual material that DuPont makes, they make it for the coupling bushings for trains. You know, when trains, like two cars slam into each, each other, they have coupling bushings. That material is what it's made out of. And how much does a train car weigh a hell of a lot more than this rig slamming into each other so that's a pretty amazing material and that's what they make their boards out of so you're getting more bang for the buck so this you know this board again with the teeth costs 349 
Max Trax is $4.99. So a lot more expensive for the Max Trax. But Max Trax has got like, what, a $3 per pound material cost, where um, US Action Track has a $5 per pound um, material cost. And as far as those materials are concerned, another interesting note is the nylon is better than polypropylene and all that. So Max Track it has been the best on the market up until now. Um, this is the, the DuPont product is seven times stronger than the nylon. That's why they're not making train coupling bushings uh, out of nylon. So let's now enough about the boards. If you have any other questions, if I think of anything while I continue this video, I will add into that. And I never had gen one. I have no idea what his gen one was, but, uh, you can freeze your frame if you care to read this. So that's on the back. Okay. Oh, and the other cool thing is Max Trax was back ordered for what, two months? I couldn't wait. And US Action Trax, I ordered them on a Monday, I got them on a Friday. And the other cool thing is I've asked all these companies, like I asked the, the one that's on this truck, I said, hey, can you guys mix and match? I want a red and a black. They're like, no, you gotta buy both the same color. Max Trax, can you mix and match? No, you gotta buy both the same color. Well, guess what? I only have one red and one black. You wanna know why? When I asked KC over at Action Tracks, can I mix and match? He's like, sure, what colors you want? So pretty darn cool, because if you're like me, I don't want to have two of the same color. Sometimes, like you'll see, uh, when I mount these, I can have this on the outside if I want to be a little bit more, you know, stealth. Or I can put the red on the back on the outside when I mount it on the truck if I want it to be more, you know, jumping out at you. All right, so... I'm going to put this up on eBay for 75 bucks or not eBay or offer up these ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with, they're all discolored and stuff. And that's the other thing. Plastics, the sun will cook, will discolor this. Uh, you know, I've yet, I asked him if they discolor, he said, no, I would prefer the experience to see, okay, well this black discolor. So maybe I'll do a follow up video in due time. And I'm in California. It's sunny all the time, except for today. That's why I chose today as a good video day. It is a beautiful cloudy day. I love cloudy days in California because they're rare. All right, let me pause the camera and I'm going to show you the different ways to mount. Uh, I'm going to show you five different ways to mount. Well, the first way, let's just check that out, is on my FJ40. So I use it as a canopy. So it sits up there on the bar. I've got little bungees that I use to attach it so that ain't going anywhere and I just I took one of them off because I just got these boards in I still have to take that one off but also just to demonstrate the difference so I think the tan goes well when I was talking about Rotopax they also make these I have a video on uh, because these come red for fuel white for water and that one I painted tan so that's why I put the tan um, recovery board to match that and this one I pan painted in, in uh, green Plasti Dip has uh, it's called camo so you get a brown a tan and a green um, in a package of their camo so that's one way to mount the next way to mount would be on top of your roof rack and for the roof rack here's what I did um, this is a Prinsu so a lot of people have Prinsu and I bought a Prinsu um, I guess mount to put it on which I'll show you in a second and then I tried to buy the Rhino Pioneer which is a mount that goes flat and then has a piece that sticks out on an angle so that your boards are sitting like just off the truck on the outside those are back order also so I'll do a follow-up video mounting that but I found a solution I bought these so these are gonna be pretty darn cool uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a second so first Let's do uh, the mounting on the top of this vehicle. And just to show you what that mount looks like. So right on your Prinsu roof rack, just bolts in. So you, you, know, you know how these sliders work. You can either pop this up or use one of the ones that has a, a wider mouth here and goes in just like that. And with these US Max Tracks, yes, these 
what are they called? The MK2 Extreme. So you get the MK2 Extreme mounts fit, and they're about 57 bucks, 60 bucks for a set of four. So I've got these all set up, no boards in them. We'll put those boards up. The only issue with mounting this way is if you have a roof rack, that ain't gonna work. You'll have to use one of my other options I'm about to show you. So let me get these boards up here and let's take a look. Okay, so there it is mounted up top using the Prinsu um, mounts and then the uh, M2K Extreme four pack. So, you know, again, two colors. I like it. Like you get this nice red line, top it off with black. Pretty cool. This, you lock it down. That's how it locks down in place. So look, that's not going to budge. Oh well, yeah. And look, that goes to show you how pliable these ones are. That's just me lifting. The other ones wouldn't budge. Those plastic ones, not at all. And you see this extra space here. That's so you can lock it with this one. <clears throat> excuse me, and get four max tracks if you want. So this can do either two or four. It sits up nice up top. I think it's pretty cool. Now the problem is if you have a rooftop tent, that ain't gonna work. So, but it's a nice way when the rooftop tent's not up there, it can look like that. So again, option one, if you have a, a Jeep, an FJ, just an open with a family cage, let them be dual purpose. Let it be a canopy. Yes, I do have a bikini, uh, bikini top on, but you know that also acts as a good sun shade. So that was option one. That's option two. But I'm just going to show you with this truck down here. I have a rooftop tent. Those action tracks aren't going to go up there or recovery boards. So if you have a rooftop tent, not going to work. The next way to mount them is on the back here. So this one, I did a bit of a custom job. So again, these are 159, I think, from uh, 149 or 159 for two. Gotta be the same color. You can't mix and match like US Action Tracks will let you do. But they say on their site that they're using the same material as their fuel packs. So this it's, it's actually a little, it's not as stiff as the other plastic um so they're not bad you know th these are pretty good boards but again the other ones i mean i feel the difference one feels like it's got rubber in it versus this is plastic but a more uh, malleable plastic like you know bendable so to speak but on this one that's a tire mount so i did my own kind of macgyver job on this i used um rotopax mounting gear um what the locks lox or dlx are the only two that work with this and i did have to because they have two spots here and here but nothing centered so i did do a little dremeling and created a hole that i can put the uh the roto pack lock pack mount pack on but pretty cool look to mount that so now let's look at the back of this truck for the next option option number three out of five that I'm going to show you today, which is mounting it to the back of the wheel, right? Rooftop tent can be up there. This ain't going to get in the way. There's one thing I can get in the way of, which I'll talk about in a second. So this is from Bomber Products. Um, I went online. I, I, I actually had this piece. I was missing the hitch. So I was like, darn it, they're out of business. Well, they're not. Um, you can get them on eBay. So you got to go to eBay and look up, you know, um, rear tire mount pack. And I believe this is about one, 149 for this. So I ordered this and let's see how this goes on. This is made for max tracks, but remember this works also because the width, um, with the, uh, the U S action tracks is the same. So this should work. So let me put it on pause and let me mount these up and be right back. Well, look at that. That went on super easy. <laughs> so you can see the width and you got the grab handles, right? So the width works. And what you do is you move this out of the way, slide this on. And then when you put this back on, this is the clamp that will hold in the board. 
You're supposed to put two or more. I only have one up there so far. Well, let's do the beige board. Let's see how easy it is. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. So I'm going to put the tan board on the outside. Oh, wait. I do have to. There we go. So I'm holding the camera in one hand and putting this on with the other. And voila, it is on. So again, mix and matching. I got a black and the tan. I left one red up there just to show you if you did two reds, it's going to be a lot of red, right? Some people might like that. So you have like just this, you know, bright red kind of jumps out at you, looks cool. I kind of liked, instead of getting two red, that's why I got a red and a black. So I can put the black on top and have a more of a stream thinner red line and not having it being so big. But check it out. That, that tan actually goes great with this car, with this color. It's just not bang on to the same tan plasti dip color. I'm sure somehow I can maybe get a different plasti dip color to be closer to this, but close enough. That looks cool. So the only drawback to this mounting it here is if you're off-roading and you have a departure angle that's pretty severe, well, you could catch it, right? It's sticking out. If you didn't want to catch it, I'm sure you can mount the board push it up higher onto this, but I think it's gonna to be too high, catching tree branches and what have you. But if you're overlanding, you're not rock crawling, you don't have crazy approach and departure angles, here's a great place for you to mount it as well. So very cool. My other, that, that black truck, that's a Japanese diesel, it came with this. So, you know, the, these look pretty bad. Uh, before I sign off this video today, I'm going to use a product to show you how to bring the black back. So I could reuse these, you know, repaint this with a Rust-Oleum metal looking color. Um, but to me, these would be throwaway. The first time I'd use them on the trail, probably going to break them. You know, plastic, not only, you know, the sun eats away at them, but the sun will, I guess, ruin the, the com composite or the composure or whatever you want of the plastic uh, that over time, it's gonna weaken that plastic, definitely. So, and most of the time our, our packs, our, our recovery boards are sitting outside the vehicle. All right, now, that's the third way on how to mount them. Let me show you the fourth way, which I think is gonna be my favorite. It's going to take a little setup here for me. I'll tell you what it is I'm going to be doing. It's this. So it's Axia Alloys. And what that is, I put um, one up earlier. So here's how this works. They have rings that mount to that piece that's going to be holding the... Um, the recovery boards. Now this, they typically come two inches. And the reason being is this is to a way to mount your recovery boards on a bar. So you can put it on your front bar of your truck. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I could put them up here. So on, on this bar, this is two inch and these come two inches. So you just mount it in that piece and then you'd have your, your um, recovery boards up top. The reason why I don't really need to do it here is, well, I'm going to use it as a canopy, so I just bungee cord it to the bar. But I ended up buying, if you have a Prinsu roof rack and you're going to do this, I bought the two and a quarter diameter here um, uh, mounts, right? So two and a quarter. Don't use the two inch, use the two and a quarter. I will show you why in a second. And I called their company and talked to who I think was the owner. I'm pretty sure. And he was saying, no, no, a lot of people are trying to do stuff like what you're saying. This has got to go on a, on a, a tubular bar. And I was like, ah, I do a lot of MacGyver stuff. I, I, I'm going to find a way. And I did a measurement. Um, so let me get this board off and I'll show you the measurement and I did and why I decided to go a little wider on the diameter. As I'm getting that other setup ready, I just want to show, um, cause I'm taking these boards off. Um, so in the back of here, you get a universal mount piece that's going to mount to any, um, 
any wheel. So whether you have eight bolt, five bolts, uh, six bolts, pretty cool the plate they have. And it's like a hitch comes out. And then they give you options to move this in. So you can see if you have play, and I've got play, obviously I just move that in. So I just have to adjust that, move it in so that this sits taut against the tire. And then when you uh, switch this piece over, it, it hooks the, uh, the handle and you just tighten this tight. So th this is all tight. What I need to do is just put that hitch one bolt further that way. So it pushes everything in, holds it against the tire. But that Bomber product is sweet looking. Again, word was they went out of business, but no, you can still get them on, uh, on eBay. Yeah, check that out. That's a clean look, folks. That's a clean look. But wait till you see this fourth way of mounting it. I think this one will be my favorite. So back to getting that ready. Okay, the way this mount works is you have these uh, that go around a tube. So this is meant for a tube, not for a square piece. So what I did was I, I did a quick measurement. I took a um, clamp hose and I went around this Prinsu. As you know, these are one by two. So two inches length, one inch depth. And this, I got around it. So my first thought was, okay, I'm just gonna buy a clamp that can go around this and I'll put some rubber to, to hold it in tight. But then I realized, well, that's, there's no difference from this. And if I have a rooftop tent, it does the same thing. So now I wanna do it like that. So that's how I'm gonna mount it. And it so happens that two and a quarter was the right choice. And here's why. Let me show you, I'm gonna just get, and that's why I put it like this. So I'm gonna have it sitting off the side of the truck. This can be on an angle when I tighten it down. But the problem is when you do that, this screw is not gonna be long enough. Okay, when you have it up like that. So I went to Ace Hardware, I brought this in and I got one that's about a half inch longer. So you need longer um, bolts. And then I couldn't get it with an Allen head i had to get it just as a as a bolt so let me mount it but that's the trick on the print suit is you get those mounts two and a quarter inch put them here and you'll see the final product here it'll take me about five minutes to set it up all right i did it option number four it's with a red board we'll try with black and tan and hey put in the comments which color you like best but check that out that is using the axia alloy the tube fitting mount, but on a Prinsu roof rack. And it's solid, folks. That ain't gonna go anywhere. I haven't locked it down yet. I just have one board up. That's how we did it. And that, like I said, that thing's solid. You just wanna check it. It can turn a bit. Let me check if my door opens. And it does. It does rub a bit, but I could just change the angle of that. But also I don't usually have, usually I have a passenger shotgun, not in the back. So I'm not too worried about that, but it still does open. All right, let's uh, get the camera shot here. Let me pause it and we will do, let's say the blackboard next. Okay, there's with the black one. I like that look, it's clean. Just enough red underneath it to match my little red piece up front right there. I think that's cool. And last but not least, let's try the tan. But I think that's where I'm gonna be keeping my boards. And there's with the tan. Got all three boards up there actually so you can see and there's still room for one more and it's holding strong i dig it the tan's not so bad but i think i'll stick with black because that tan's going on uh on the green machine and the green machine um they do make some olive drab like kind of this same color so i think i may order two of those and then the tan tan can go on this truck too i got a 200 series in there which i did like bronze tint on those headlights 
that's got rock warrior wheels if you're into land cruisers that's my most of my videos are on land cruisers like this fj40 on uh those are 40 inch trepidors very capable rig and then uh that's uh these two trucks both on the street with that rooftop tent and uh, this one those are both diesel land cruisers all right so i did say five spots where you can put your boards and we've done four so far and actually there's a there's a the fifth one i'm going to show you in a second the sixth one i was trying to order i just couldn't get it here on time it's a hood mount it's for the toyota guys you know i'm trying to keep this video generic for anybody who wants boards that has a prinsu or any type of roof rack um but it's two metal pieces go across here and you put your boards across the hood kind of cool um if you subscribe to the channel i'll post a video when i get that in and show that option is option number six but let me show you option number five and option number five it's pretty straightforward you don't have to buy any new additional equipment you just hang on let's get this going here you just put it in the back here and I'll do another video of what I've got in the back this setup no fridge or anything yet there we go but you can just simply throw them back here I'd have to put a seat down but I have uh, some gear here so a lot of trucks have this barrier you know if you have dogs or something or you can put all your equipment on so i've got extinguisher like a woods knife shovel and a kick-ass axe from outland but yeah you can always throw them back there right keep things simple but if you're carrying a lot of gear and those boards get muddy dirty you just don't want them sitting um, on the inside of your vehicle so that's why you put them on the outside all right let me know what you think but for me i think i'm going to keep them there because that rooftop tent is going to transfer from that black land cruiser to this one and i think i'm just going to keep it red and black a little bit more um low-key so to speak all right well there you have it five ways you can put your recovery boards and if anything if you're going to uh want to get recovery boards that will last for years and years and years simply get that us action tracks with their dupont composite build you know if it's big if it's good enough for a i don't know twenty thousand pound rail car to forty thousand pounds I, and i believe he says it's rated if i remember right like fifty two thousand pounds for um fire trucks so fire trucks use that too Yeah, and this one, this truck came with one. This uh, hitch is wider than the hitch from uh, Bomber Products. And that those two crappy boards already have the mount for that. So I'm gonna clean those up, put them back up here. Oh yeah, and I was gonna show you as far as cleaning up crappy plastic. Let me show you a cool pra product. If you stuck with me this long, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you too. Like, yeah, my videos are a little long sometimes, but I did a lot of research, a lot of information, you know, things that you need to know about these boards. Like look, three handles, um, you have to put straps, so these can strap together if you're gonna chain, daisy chain them. You know, if, if you're launching a boat at the beach or something and you need several. And again, for me, these teeth, and if you ever do burn out with your tire, the, the uh, nibs, just take a sawzaw or a Dremel, chop off just the nib part, drill through and put a bolt all right for this board let me get that product and share with you that all right not sure if the camera does it justice but that board is faded this is the product in for some of you somewhat familiar packaging so always wear a glove when dealing with this pack with this product so Cerakote trim coat and check it out clean your product first 
Oh, look at that. Yeah, I thought it would work on this because this plastic is very hard and this seems to work better on that. I did this on the tailgate of my wife's LX570. I did half of it a year ago and I forgot to do the other half. And to this day, it's still super black and nice. Yeah, so you can see almost like an armor all that, that dry, it won't dry wet like that. Let me finish this whole thing. I'll pause it, I'll finish it, I'll put it. Um, actually, I think you have to keep it out of the sun for the first 24 hours. But let me finish the board and see. That, that's kind of giving it new life. Not that it's going to perform better when actually being used for its purpose, but it's going to look good. So let me finish it and we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like all black. And look at that. All right, we'll check it out. That pretty much revived that sunburnt, faded black into um, nice dark black again. And that's just one coat. I could do two coats of that, but I didn't really care for these boards. It's just more for the example. All right, so there it is mounted in the back. One cool thing I did want to share is if that shows up, made in the USA. So out of Kansas, obviously Max Tracks, that's made in uh, Australia. So they have a cost as far as shipping them over too. Um, so maybe shipping might be more expensive with their boards. But I love these boards. Um, I'm gonna support US. And again, you, you can mix and match. You can do it the way you like. That's why I was able to get these two. You know, if you're a Toyota guy, you can go red, orange, yellow. Uh, they have those color boards. And I think they also have uh, royal blue, like a, like a bright blue though, like pop at you blue. But it's on their website, check them out. Um, yeah, and if you're into Land Cruisers, that's the videos I post. A couple diesels here. Uh, I do comparison videos and just other things uh, to do to your rig, like painting those rotopacks over there on the green machine. I did the same thing here. So, you know, these come red. So that's red, that's original. This is Plasti dipped, but you wouldn't know it, right? Doesn't that look original? And I did that because I just didn't want to have this huge red blob sitting on the back of the truck. The outline is cool. And then that, uh, that's just a gray Plasti dip, real simple. And guess what? You can tear it off and underneath it's brand new. So five years from now, like I can keep recoating it if I scratch it on the trail, simple, get home, just spray some Plasti dip. Again, another coat, but five years from now if i peel that off because these are brand new it's going to look just as red as this versus this will fade over time i've seen other people with the um the roto packs and uh they definitely fade so that's my question will this plastic fade probably will the dupont product fade probably not so but time will tell all right well, thanks for tuning in and taking the time. I know it's a long video, but hopefully my homework ends up being your homework and uh, you can get yourself the right boards, but you won't be disappointed. These are phenomenal. You just see the quality right off the bat when you open it up from the packaging. So, all right, well, happy trails. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos. Again, I show Plasti Dippin'. I show just other things like different mounts for putting I got an ax back there, uh, fire extinguisher mounts, that sort of thing. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.